I was just given another video on Project Camelot, interviewing um, a girl that's into hypnosis and past lives and who we really are, Dolores Can Cannon. And uh, a lot of things don't make much sense when it comes to um, past lives and where we came from and Planet X and, you know, a bunch of aliens, you know, created us and aliens are going to destroy us or aliens are going to save us. You know, like a lot of those stories just, that puzzle doesn't make too much sense. And, and part of the, the big thing that we got to sort of recognize is nobody knows right now. There's a lot of people that think they know, but nobody really knows. We still are sort of questioning and we're still at a state of trying to understand it. We're noticing something, but we don't have the full explanation of it. Now, it don't matter whether we come from a different planet or not. Like, that doesn't, you know, like, where does that get us? Like, it doesn't make any sense knowing that we either came from a different place or, you know, we are the epicenter. We are like the gods creating all of our reality. It's not like somebody's coming out and doing something to us. We are the ones that are creating all of it. Whoever created us, created us with the ability to create everything. So that law doesn't really fit in with, um, you know, aliens came and created us. It's like, okay, it's something more like a godlike being, something that is bigger than ourselves that sort of gave birth to us. So we are sort of like a second generation of something else. Now, whether it's a, a god or, you know, they came from a different planet or um, any of these past lives looking at somebody's story, um, to try and understand who we are, what you're actually doing is going into a past experience of self and how they interpret their world. So this is like even in in a bible they say don't don't look for the past for any answers don't uh you know spirits that come in and you know say they're from the past it's like they know nothing i believe there's a passage in a bible that said something like that and um you can see the same type of phenomenon that seems to be studied with the psychological um community that happens to be insane right now and that's noticing multiple personalities and the similarities that happen with a multiple personality is the same thing that's happening with channelers and basically you can tap into the past past lives of somebody and they can actually you know you're getting the experience of uh, shape-shifting because an entity out of the past can take over somebody's body in a multiple personality um, situation psychologists have found that the body the, the person or the entity that's taking over is actually a real person from a real time that they can track in history that the person that has the multiple personality has no clue over they've researched that they've seen that so that's where they they kind of know that that's a form of time traveling and uh, a lot of people are developing that skill um, and calling it channeling and that's why some of your body functions can you know you can detect you know Rampha is one of them where they say hey this isn't me this is something else coming from a different place and they usually come up with really great ideas and um, you know insights that we aren't really aware of but it's something from the past that they've been aware of. And, and we've got to understand that our cultures, our, our, our humanity has evolved. You know, it's sort of like, you know, 
learned an awful lot in its cycle and if it didn't learn what it needed to learn it destroyed itself and then the cycle had to start all over again and that's where we're at is we're getting a lot more intelligent it's a matter of can we get intelligent enough not to destroy ourselves so looking at anybody in the past whatever knowledge they did have they did destroy themselves so it's not really a good idea but a lot of people are thinking that that's how we're going to get a superior race is by abusing an awful lot of people getting them to access this special skill of doing time traveling using you know the multiple personality or channeling we'll put a nice little title on it so it'll be acceptable um, but when you do go into these uh, past life regression through hypnosis and suggestion, um, you're only pulling out somebody's comprehension of what was going on at a time and not necessarily going to get a full and complete answer. And um, past lives may think that they've been abducted by an alien force but they could have been abducted by a human force that wanted to manipulate somebody into believing that they're not human so that you know it's a crime you'll never get proven you know to be guilty of anything if you you know make the suggestion as you abduct somebody that you're from a different planet I mean where we are programmed to believe bullshit can happen at any point in our timeline. So if you've manipulated somebody in a past life to believe in bullshit and then you do a hypnosis and see what they knew at this time through hypnosis and think that that's real, no it ain't. It's uh, at some point in time you gotta know where the bullshit started. <laughs> and. So that's why these these ETs, uh, you know, past lives or um, some of how we're getting our new intelligence is it, it, the puzzle just isn't uh, matching up with some things that do make sense. One of the golden rules um, that I go by that seems to be true no matter what is this um, patterns within patterns within patterns that um, um, Mandrabot set. That piece of science seems to um, really unfold an awful lot and it is the rules in science that if something's true it's true all the time. This Mandrabot set is saying there's a bubble within a bubble within a bubble you know and what part of that bubble you're in is how you're going to perceive your reality um, but you're all going to be the same no matter what level you get at whether we're in a chaos stage or whether we're in a hate stage we are all loving beings and that's one constant that we all have no matter how evil we look what's in the smallness is also going to be in the bigness um, that law seems to apply perfectly that whatever you can understand in the quantum world is going to be identical in the universal world and using metaphors to show different examples of the same story is really easy in how to understand both worlds but when you can sort of perceive it that way you know the ET phenomenon doesn't make any sense um, with that science because uh, what's in the quantum world has to be the same in the universal world and it all seems to be that it starts everything starts from the epicenter and reacts it's put something out into the world and there's a you know like a karma that comes back it's not something else that comes into our world and affects us um, so and that's suggesting that something else out in the universe is bigger than us and it's like no that is the bigness of us how can there be something separate from us that's bigger than us that's just a whole another big bubble that that goes into the God creator you know that what we're supposed to evolve into 
on through this type of experience we sort of have to understand what's going on here to evolve into something that we you know is an example of whatever created us so I don't know if that confuses the, the picture anymore, but that's where I have a problem with these ETs. It seems to be somebody's creating another God, another Jesus, another leader. Um, you know, we have way too much technology that's explaining all aspects of our ET experiences, right down to the friggin' spaceships. If they were so much evolved than us, then how come they're using the same types of... Um, viewing reality as we do you know they're still in in like a fourth dimension why haven't they evolved into like the fifth dimension and if these guys are all so powerful and helpful how come they haven't saved the planet you know they're going to wait until we're just about to destroy some of them then there's going to be you know a god that saves us and it's like that part doesn't make any sense you know if something was good and out there that's bigger than us and they have so much more technology why didn't they come and save us why are there so many people talking about, oh, just wait, they're going to be there to save us. Well, what's holding them back? You know, like how many people have to die before these big, huge people that are bigger and better than us and have so much more technology and, you know, where are they? You know, just not seeing it. And any of the big bad ones, I'm pretty sure they're just as big as bad on this planet. And they have all the money, so they can use all the technology they're suppressing into making it look like a spaceship that you think we don't have that technology, that it's out of this world. It ain't. It's in the world of the elites that, you know, don't want anybody knowing about it. So that's what I think on the whole ET thing. Don't be looking for another god in the sky because that might be just another path to send a bunch of sheep that say, I knew it. I knew it all along. Peace out.